clean installation, deleting every part of a game from your system to assure a solid foundation to start modding from. This is how it's done. Welcome to Gamer Poets and to Modding My Way. Sit back, relax, and pause when needed. You got this. Steam users, open Windows Explorer. Navigate to Steam, Steam Apps, Common. Delete the Fallout 4 folder. Navigate to the C drive, Users, your user account, Documents, My Games. Delete the Fallout 4 folder. Push the Windows key plus R. Type App Data. Push Enter. Open Local and delete the Fallout 4 folder. Finally, open Steam. Library, right click Fallout 4. Manage, Uninstall. GOG users, open your Fallout 4 game folder. Double click the Uninstall 000 executable. Yes, at the warning window. No, when asked if you want to keep your saved games. If GOG adds the next gen Creation Club update, there will likely be a second uninstaller. Do with it the same thing that we just did with the first one. Once the uninstallers are complete, arrow back once and delete the game folder if it wasn't done automatically. How to reinstall the game on Steam Install Fallout 4 from your library, not to the program files directories. If you have problems installing the game elsewhere, I've linked my How to Move Steam Games video. Once installed, push play from Steam, agree to any pop-ups, and launch the game. Agree to any additional pop-ups, and Fallout 4 is ready to play. How to reinstall the game on GOG Create a folder anywhere, outside of program files. Name it Fallout 4 something or another. The name doesn't matter, you just need to know that this is your game folder. Download the game using the offline backup game installers. Download each and every one of these. Save them to the game folder that we just created. When downloading is complete, double-click the Fallout Setup Executable. Agree to the prompts. Options. Browse to and select our newly created game folder. OK. Highlight the backslash and everything after it, and delete. Just the game folder name remains. Yes, install. Once installation is complete, launch the game to establish its registries. You don't need to play, just agree to the prompts and exit. If GOG decides to add the next gen Creation Club content, you would now go back into the game folder and launch whatever the name of the upgrade executable is, and then follow the prompts like we just did a moment ago. Creation Club Content If for any reason you don't want the Creation Club content that comes with the next gen update, you can simply delete it, or parts of it, by going to the game folder, opening data, then delete the files that start with CC that you don't want. Keep in mind, you won't be able to use any mods that require these deleted files. So instead of outright deleting them, you may want to place them in a different folder for safekeeping, as you see me doing here. That way you can quickly add them back one day if needed. And there is plenty more Fallout 4 content being planned. I hope to see you once it's done. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you next time. If you have problems install if you have problems and if you have problems if you have problems if you have problems installing the game elsewhere and there is plenty more Fallout 4 content and there is plenty more Fallout 4 content and there is plenty more Fallout 4 content being planned and there and there is plenty more Fallout 4 content being planned